Generic greetings, Sean Gall, prisoner number 8762506, sentenced to one years for driving under the influence. As you can see, they did plead not guilty. However, as the jury was knocked out by the smell of southern comfort coming from their breath, I think putting them in here was probably the right choice. They have now served their sentence. They were only sentenced to one year and they have now completed that sentence and they will be exiting. I was going to check the experience tab to see if there was any, any um, parole undertaken there, but it won't be because if we go to programs you can see quite clearly there is no parole actually set there another thing of note we have uh, Duncan Venning here which we originally sentenced to or originally punished rather uh, to a 24 hours in lockdown which is this cell and you might be thinking, well, why are they wandering off? Well, that's because that sentence is now expired. So we've we finished that punishment. So they're actually going to head, because it is now eating time, to this canteen. This is their canteen. If we go over to our deployment, we can see that this area and this area is set to protective custody, whereas this area is apparently not set correctly. There we go. So, yeah, they're now going to eat here. And this is something I didn't ever anticipate. Because normally, protective custody, what we do is we have an area like this where we set to protective custody and then we just give them a permanent punishment. However, it's not the case here because I don't have that unlocked. So they are freely able to walk around anything designated protective custody. They can't go outside because all of this is staff only and there's nowhere else for them to go. Um, so do we just leave it like this so they can walk between this area and this area? It is an interesting thing. It also means that if we had this room, for example, set as a, a, a common room, they could probably fulfill most of their needs in this little bit. However, I'm not going to do that. Instead, what I am going to do is go over to objects and to phone booth. And I'm going to put a phone booth in here. So it should be able to fulfill that need there. They do have a need for spirituality, freedom, family, hygiene, etc. And they will not be able to fulfill that because I still haven't um, put in the shower head here, but I will resolve that now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should have put that in earlier. So what will happen with these two? They'll be able to fulfill a lot of their needs. Um, I think the family need is is met by talking to them on the phone, which is useful. In any event, what we need to do this episode is get some phone taps in and we need to set up some programs. And we also need to get these cells done because, as you can see, we are slowly losing money. And I think it's probably best that I work on that first. So let's go for some materials, a brick wall. And what we're going to do is build a brick wall all the way around here. And we're going to have this is our cell in the center and then oh hang on yes uh, this is going to be a problem because of the oh no that's fine actually do we have it on ent exiting the top or the bottom uh probably the bottom because then it's yeah they can walk out that way it doesn't really matter whether it exit the top or bottom just in this case it means we don't have to set up another patrol so this is going to be our standard cell so it's going to be a three by two or a two by three whichever you prefer and i will place the bed on the left hand side because then the toilet will be far on the right which means we will have um better viewing uh, oh, sorry a, a better viewing to see them and also not just on the toilet I mean on the bed <laughs> I should point that out uh, and also it means that the toilet is further away from the wall there we go in fact if you want to have it further away we could technically put it there but I don't really think one square is going to make a massive difference so we'll max it out and prisoners will uh, head back to their cells or go wherever they need to go it's currently free time and some of them are just going to be sitting around here some of them will inevitably head to the common room i'm going to send them in there and uh, oh no nobody's in the common room oh well fair enough looks like they are just hanging around in their cells if we check our needs we can see quite clearly that most of these are all being met which is fine environment need and drugs need the drugs need, obviously, we won't be able to fulfill. Uh, the environment need, we will be able to clean. However, um, I think it is time that we do uh, set this thing as a cleaning cupboard. I was thinking about this and haven't really, uh, haven't really made any decision until now. Um, I know there's many people there commented about um, changing that to a a cleaning cupboard so we'll do that and then hopefully that'll be fine so we can see now we've got this cell and what i'm going to do is going to go over to the quick build and clone and all we're going to do is we'll clone it all the way along here so one two three four hold on pause there five six seven and then eight and then there's that almost finished we do need to run a little bit of piping along and i'll run it to there because obviously the large pipe will have to connect up to there as well we'll run the large pipe up to there and then that that should all be lit as well um the problem is that i didn't light it so we will have to place some lights in but that's not exactly a great task i don't think we're going to be able to ah darn it, i'll put it in the wrong place so when i right click it's going to cancel everything mm. 
Can I do anything? Right click to cancel. Oh no, it did just cancel that light. Okay, we're fine. So the workers are going to crack on with that. You can see we are losing um, a grand a day, which is not ideal. But hopefully with the introduction of these new cells, we should get some more prisoners, which is fine. So this prisoner here, Duncan Venning, you can see does have some needs there, uh, spirituality and luxuries and such. But the other ones have been taken care of, which is fantastic. So as uh, the workers go are out and about, we can see that some of them are getting... Well, some of them are getting um, searched. And why are you going that away? <laughs> Technically, it's easy for the workers to go through that door, that door, and that door because that one requires the... <laughs> that one requires the assistance of a guard, or the attention of a guard, rather. Interesting. Anyway, so most of these cells are still under construction, which is a shame, because if we got them done sooner, those would be uh, all sorted. This is the first time that I've checked the shell route, and we can see that they're all heading in there. It doesn't look like there's any major problems there. We do have a guard patrolling in there. Uh, for some reason, this prisoner, Felix Morgan, really wants some privacy and is going over the other side. However, it looks like that's going to be invaded by uh, these two here. There we are. So they're going to head over there. Shower's getting done. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I know some people have mentioned about putting something in here. The shower and the canteen have the same sort of issues that when you force, in fact, the yard, uh, you could say as well. But when you force a, a regime, and for, so for example, shower, and then the, the prisoners go there but don't need those needs to be met, they just sort of stand around and do nothing. And with the with the canteen, it's quite easy. You just place a couple of phone booths and it. it takes care of itself, really, and it's quite useful. However, that's not the case when they shower because we don't have phone booths in there, and I'm really not... <laughs> keen on doing that anyway so we now have a cleaning cupboard which is good because it means that uh, prisoners can go in there and start cleaning and i have assigned six people to that i just want to pause it and double check something so if we go over to our intelligence and to dangers we can see the poisons and club can be gained from here so that is a bit of an issue and ropes from there as well not really worried about the rope because in order to use that rope they need to be <laughs> here and they need to go over there and then over there so it's two sets of ropes I'm really not worried about that eventually I will get some barbed wire put on the outer one I don't even think I'm going to bother with a with a perimeter wall I just don't think it's necessary at all so you can see they're shouting for a spirituality need there that's something that I can't uh, I can't do this is where we have some issues um because I, I, I could make a small chapel just for protective custody but it's not ideal what you would do really working within the limitations of the game is to have a common chapel and then set it so that anybody that doesn't have a specific chapel like these would only would go at a different time the problem is because of the way the game works is with designations is if we set up a chapel like for example a chapel here which is medium sec only and set up a chapel here that's anybody when you run those programs uh, the medium sec can still go to there and then that means that the other people can join up so there should be a, like a and or so it should be like for example this one is medium sec um, and then we should be able to say one that's like um, or this one is for uh, say low and medium like have a dual one it would be nice but we don't, and that's going to be Prison Architect 2 coming out in 2027, maybe. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't um, rule out Prison Architect 2 because it's done so well, but I think Innovation is um, working on other things. Actually, it is, what's it, there's a new game they are working on. It's a space game as well, like a colony management game. Rather more higher level than this one, and ooh, I've obviously missed whatever's happened here. Let's go over to this area, and we're going to get a guard inside. There we go, and I want to see what's happened. So, looks like none of these have anyone inside them. So, where is that? Um, oh, it's this person. Dan Coombs. Three years for violent disorder. It's Dan again. And reputation, we don't know. But if we go over to intelligence, we can clearly see that they have an unknown reputation. Which we, we are assuming, perhaps wrongly, that it is a... 
uh, violent, volatile reputation. But anyway, what I'm going to do is set up some policy stuff. So and actually, no, we don't need to set up policy stuff. That's all fine. We're going to set up some program stuff. So workshop safety induction, we're not going to go for. Same for the kitchen safety and hygiene. Carpentry is impossible. Foundation education program, we will definitely start that. We have a general education qualification, which can only be done after the foundation. So we're not going to set that going just yet. Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. There's one in the queue, but it does cost 200 per session and we have 10 places and we cannot do 10 places because we only have one two three four five six seven beds so it's actually not too bad but we're not going to set that going just yet parole hearing we've got six in the queue so we will set quite a number of that going in fact we'll just set up as much as we can there we go and then we can say spiritual guidance as well and we'll set that going as well so all of that is set so we've got from uh, 6 a.m till 10 a.m at 10 a.m. till 2, 2 till 6, and then 6 till 10. We've also got spiritual guidance, which is 10 till 12. We could set another one, but it won't really matter. And foundation education program is 10 till 1, so that is fine. Okay. And we will unpause it. So I reckon we'll have a serious problem with these programs later on down the line because um, a lot of these are going to be automatically placed between medium and and max and all of the other bits that we have along here so it's going to be a bit of an issue it is going to cause a bit of an issue i think speaking of issues we currently don't have any lighting in here which is suboptimal to say the least and the way to fix it i think would be just to run an electrical cable up like so and that should resolve all of that so there we are in terms of patrols, we can see that we have a guard patrol going up and down both of these, which is fine. We don't have a dog patrol, but we do have a dog patrol set there. And let's go to dog patrols and it's highlighted. So one in the yard and one in here as well. And then we also have one oh, currently set over there, but I don't think we're going to set them to that. I think that should be fine. So we're still losing uh, some money a day, which is not ideal. So what I want to do is, again, just get some more prisoners. More prisoners, more better. It just gives us um, more stuff there. Although we could, if we wanted to, go for the MaxSec infrastructure, which is unlock body armor, unlock tasers. I was going to say Teslas, but we really don't want red light to Tesla coils around here. I mean, we if we do, I mean, we would probably place them around the uh, the edge. Other red alerts are available, although the second one I believe is the best. Um, so let's go for CCTV, CCTV cameras. Can I do it in seven grand? I can. I can. Okay. Right, we're going to do that. We're going to do the MaxSec infrastructure because I believe we can get that done fairly easy. So, CCTV monitor. Where do you want to put it? Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter where it goes, does it? I think here we'll put like the door controllers and the phone taps on on this wall. Perhaps we'll have monitors. I oh, know this wall because it's the longest wall. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do that. So we only need the one. That's just got that one there. Uh, it says, place CCTV cameras throughout the prison. So that's fine because there's some areas that we need to place this on. So one, two, three. That's where the work. Um, four, five, six. And the rest we have patrols. But I am going to place one there. Seven. And then one more. We've already got patrols there. We're going to have one there. We should really have a patrol in the visitation. Don't really need one there. Really the infirmary then, isn't it? And there we go. Because the rest we have patrols in. So that should be fine. So that's getting done. We need to unlock tasers and body armor. So there's that set. The problem I'm going to have is that... Um, we'll assign a guard to visitation. We're not going to set a patrol. We'll just assign them to it. Problem I have is that <laughs> as soon as we get oh we found some poison there. As soon as we get these body armor and tasers unlocked, it is going to cry as every single guard goes to grab hold of the body armor. They won't go for the tasers because we don't have the training done yet, but they will run for the other stuff, so that's going to be a problem. And we'll run out of money, which is why I've just spent basically the last remaining cash that I had on getting the extra guards. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I believe you can look at eight at one time. It used to be six, but I, th I think it's eight now. I think it is. Let's see. Wait until the guard goes over there. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Hmm. To this beverage is bottled, by the way. Uh... They're still waiting. What are they doing? Ah, oh, no power. Okay, so they're still waiting for me to not be a moron. Uh, he'll be waiting a while. All right, let's put that down to there. All right, how is our power? Power's fine. Okay, so once that's powered up, we should be fine. You can see we are on only two grand, which is certainly not enough to buy both tasers and body armor, but it doesn't matter. It really actually doesn't matter because as, as long as you've... As long as you've bought everything else in the grant, which I have, you can go into minuses with the rest of it, because you're not in control of that spending. And I've just gained three grand for an early prisoner release, and you can see we now released three prisoners in total, so we have paroled people. Right, we now have CCTV going, and yes, it does look like you can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, excellent. Octocam is on the go. So, we now have much better line of sight. You can see we've got good sweeps there. These are obviously some sort of infrared camera because they can easily see through the wall. So we've just got another little dingling noise there, and that's tasers uh, have been unlocked. We've just spent eight grand on tasers. It just says t equipment tasers, and what will happen is a box will come in and we'll now load up tasers in the weapon rack there. Whereas uh, we need to do training in order to to um, show, to get that distributed. What I'm going to do is a shakedown because we have not yet done one in the prison, so our first shakedown, the first shakedown is a really bad movie. Probably starring, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger or um, uh, maybe Sylvester Stallone, or maybe both. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, uh, I'm sure there's a, a film with both of those and it is about a prison escape. I haven't seen it. Um, anyway, so danger level going up. It's low in increasing. Staff morale is high, which is good, so that's offsetting stuff. A lot of prisoners are saying they're unnecessarily searched recently. Well, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. So we found so far two clubs, uh, a pair of scissors, two bottles of booze, two poisons, and one screwdriver. And if that's all we found, then this has to be a fairly secure prison. Either that or we are, we are doing, I wouldn't say a good job, but we are, um, we are happily making sure that they are their needs are taken care of, which means they don't really want any of this stuff. And we'll be able to check that here. You can see there is a high demand, however, for tools, weapons, narcotics, and luxuries. Actually, tools is not really a high demand, but there's certainly a high demand for for weapons. In terms of tools, you can see that there is uh, very... Oh, there's not much at all. Um, not many needs at all when it comes to spoons, saws, spades, wooden pickaxe, and rope. So all of the stuff to escape, there's not much there. However, the rest of it, uh, there is. Uh, narcotics is... Ooh, look at that. Booze is really in high demand. And uh, trade prices for, for luxuries. Booze and cigs mainly. With lighters, and, uh, lighters and cell phones, not too much. So danger level is, uh, it's just, it's low, but it's decreasing. So three prisoners say they're well treated. Uh, we've got some deterrent because of punishments being handed out. And we've got uh, two armed guards in service. But that's a negative uh, factor, it says, plus two armed guards in service. But they're not actually suppressing. It doesn't say the, the suppression effect has been applied because we don't have one. Okay, so we now got 25 grand, which is good. More than enough to finish off what we need. We're just going to check our grand to see if there's anything else we can get. We've got crackdown on drugs, which is always a good one. So that's uh, fine, 10 legal narcotics. We've already found seven of them, so that's great. We've now got some new prisoners, so we will check our informants. We've got a gang member and a fearless snitch. So the snitch, Christopher Welsh, prisoner number 8829224. You are now, because you are a snitch, you are now in protective custody. So well done to you. Uh, they have, oh my good grief, what have they been sentenced for? 16 years for multiple crimes including kidnapping and perjury. Okay, that's going to be an issue. Um, they're going to be in here for a long, long time. And because they are 
because they are fearless and not intimidated by the sight of armed guards and less likely to surrender during a fight. That could be a problem if they kick off around here, but obviously we'll have to see. So we want to get some phone taps, so let's do just that. So we're going to go over to utilities because it's in here for whatever reason, and we're going to place some phone taps, and we know that it can be placed there. You can't actually see the desk around there, but you can see it goes red when we mouse over it, so that's fine. Um... Automatic door openers, door control systems. Do we want a door control opener? I am... What's that? Prisoner requires solitary confinement. I'm going to end the punishment for them. Yes, because they've had some stuff found, they can't leave, which is a problem. Um, I'm going to go for deployment guards and assign a guard to there, just so they can exit here. <laughs> that guy's gone full camo. <laughs> Both of them have. He's gone full camo. <laughs> cool. Uh, right. So, let's open these up. Right. So, we've got uh, these two here. So, that's a problem. We need to increase the size of this. So, we're going to go for quick build, clone. One, two. That should be fine. More than enough. We've got our phone taps getting placed. And we will run up an electrical cable to there. And connect from there. And we want to connect all the phone taps. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got no phones up here. But we do have some phones here, or just the one. So I'll place it. I might as well place it there as well. That shouldn't be a problem. So these are still protective custody. Let's just see if the game balks and changes it, which doesn't look like it has, which is good. That is fine. So we've got three prisoners up for parole. In fact, we've just paroled someone early, which is good. We have good money, which is fantastic. And we're still waiting for them to finish this off because apparently they haven't placed the bed. We will need to run the water pipe. So what I'm going to do, just because I know we're going to have to be placing these eventually anyway, and I've got the money. I'm just going to pause a second because there's been a bit of violence. Uh, I'm going to run it like that. Okay, so where is this violence? Dan Coombs again, unknown reputation. What a surprise. So we do need to get some snitches, um, or some confidential informants, rather. We should really call them that, because confidential informants are a legitimate thing. Um, well, uh, uh, snitches, uh, well, both, the both names are in here, but they, they, do, they do mean different things. Snitches are like a negative trait, for, and um, can really affect things. In a negative way, as in they tend to get shanked. Um, whereas confidential informants can still have that happen to them, but it's something that they talk to us about, and it's not something. It's something we assign to them rather than the game assigns them on, on uh, arrival. So let's see if they are up for becoming a confidential informant. Uh, they do not want to be a confidential informant. If we go over to intelligence informants, they do not have that in there. No, so no potential CIs there. In terms of gang members, we should really check. We have now two of red and two of green. We still don't have any lieutenants or any commanders, so they're not going to be issuing any orders to recruit nor do anything violent, so that's good. We have stuff still getting searched there. We have enough money now, really, to pretty much finish off this entire cell block, but what I want to do first is... Take a step back, and I want to put some jail doors on here. Uh, sorry, no, I don't want jail doors. I want solitary doors on those. My mistake. Just so we've got all of the protective custody... Not protective custody, the uh, solitary done. We probably want to add some more stuff in the holding cell, which is fine. Can we grade the holding cell? I think it's something that's possible. Uh, no, it's not. Apparently, it is not possible. But obviously, you can see now we do have some prisoners here that are shouting about graded cells. So, that's a thing. Um, I do need to check staff, and we do not have enough cooks. So, I'm going to hire some more cooks, and I'm going to increase the size of this kitchen. Again, I'm just going to check that, and it seems to be enough power, so it's fine. I will extend this all the way along, which is probably far too big, but I'm not really too bothered. Uh, we don't yet have a morgue, which is a problem. And I think the best place for it would probably be around here. In fact, it's really the only place for it, isn't it? Unless we have an, another room somewhere. Um, we could... We could cut storage in half. 
but quite frankly, as this doesn't have a purpose, we could make it the morgue. Um, I'm not really too sure what else we could make it. We could extend this, but then... Eh, no, no, I've ruled, let's rule that out straight away. Uh, it could go down. We could plan it like that, have a door there. Door there and there, and then this could be another room, but then we'd need access, which means we'd have to chop that up, and it just... No, we're just losing too much stuff. No, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, well, if this is a morgue, we'd probably do that, and then put the morgue slabs in here. Okay, let's do that. It doesn't really have any other purpose, so we might as well get it done. So, one, two, three. Morg. And the Morg slabs. And hopefully we won't need that many. Hopefully we won't need any, but... Uh, yes. We don't run on hope, we run on probability. And since this is uh, prison and gang members and some violent... Offenders, it could go anywhere. So I'm going to do another shakedown. I know I've done one recently, but I'm still trying to do that grant for Find Ten Illegal Narcotics. And I want to pause it there because there's another grant I want to get done. And that is the Inmate Nutritional Research one. Uh, there we go. So you can see that does give us only 15 grand. I say 15 grand. I say only 15 grand. It's 15 grand. Um, but... It requires us to serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days, and then three high variety, high quantity meals for two days. And you're always best off getting that done earlier before you've got other prisoners in here. So I'm going to get that. So let's work on doing that now. So I'm going to alter our... I'm going to alter this one. So I'm going to go over to our regime. And I'm going to change it so we have eat time instead of the lockup like that. And we want to go over to policy and change it to high variety, high, sorry, high quantity, high variety. So serve three high variety, high quantity meals for two days. That is done. Yeah, one, two, three. That's going to be um, progressing now, which it is. And the reason I'm doing it now is because obviously a lot of the prisoners are going to be pissed off because we've just searched them. So what we'll do is we'll... We'll give them some nice meals today. Tomorrow, we'll cut it right down. And then we'll go back to normal the day after that. And that should give us the 15 grand that we need. So, that is our first real day, I guess, with all of the prisoners doing shakedowns and uh, different punishments and such. And we've had releases. So, we are pretty much up and running. Uh, pretty much up and running. Next episode... Oh, dear... That is a gang fight. And he was on his break as well. <laughs> Two days to retirement. <laughs> um, why is it kicking off? Ah, oh, the gangs are fighting each other. They're not actually fighting him. That's interesting. And who's he starting to fight? He's just starting to smash stuff up. So yeah, gang fight. Our first gang fight. I think they were just fighting each other. Let's have a quick look. Attack prisoner, attack staff. Attack prisoner, attack staff, found weapons. Attack prisoner, staff, attack staff, found weapons. And there was another one. Can't see it. There we are. Destruction and attack prisoner. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, before I forget as well, I'm going to put drains across there. Just in case it kicks off, that means the water shouldn't flow out. Alright, first gang fight. For no reason. Well, apart from the fact that they've got um, different tattoos. So, that, that's that's a, a valid reason in their minds, I guess. Either way, we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we will go ahead and, I think, get some graded cells. Because there's prisoners that require graded cells, or rather, um, are eligible for graded cells, not require, and certainly um, don't demand. So we'll get the graded cells done all the way up to here. And then we will probably put the flooring in, because that's been a, well, <laughs> a task we've been meaning to do for a while. And that, 
accompanied with this, we should be able to get then probably into positive figures. We also might have to start deploying our armed guards if that's going to be a common occurrence. What we'll also do, and I'll do it now before I forget, is we want to do a taser rollout. So that's like non-violent, or non, um, it's, it's non, what's the term? Non-killing means, <laughs> um, non-lethal, that's what I was looking for. Searching for in the random grey blob that is my mind. So yeah, and it's, it's uh, hopefully non-lethal means to subdue the prisoners. So, got a lot of people going in here. Um, I don't think any of these will want to become confidential informants. You can, I believe, have gang members of confidential informants, but... Maybe I'm wrong about that one. Anyway, knocking it on the head there. Next episode, like I said, we'll do the, we'll do the graded cells, and we will do and we'll do the flooring. I think, yeah, probably the way forward. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.